Hey folks, a warm afternoon across the valley with temperatures climbing up into the 80s, even 90 right now in Rio Grande City, but McAllen's 89, 81 in Harlingen, then cooler at the coast, 73 Port Isabel and 69 on South Padre Island at this hour. Overnight tonight, your temperatures are going to cool off a little more than last night, but still not exactly cold. You're looking at a few places reaching the upper 50s, most in the low 60s. An average low right around 60, 61 or so. And then tomorrow we're warm again with a southeasterly wind most of the day, but then late in the day turning around to the north. We warm back in the 80s across most areas, about 74 for your high at the beach. But then tomorrow night our front comes in and everything changes again. So 84 tomorrow, well above average, but then only 66 on Wednesday and 67 on Thursday. Should be plenty of sunshine both those days, though, with this front. Looks like it's going to come in with very little fanfare, but much chillier temperatures behind it. But it looks like there's going to be a fair amount of sunshine instead of overcast and drizzle like we saw last week. Patchy clouds overhead all day today. They kind of thickened up as a weak front went through today. That front sitting just offshore right now. That'll turn around, move back to the north as a warm front during the nighttime hours and during the daytime tomorrow. So we'll actually warm back up tomorrow as we await the arrival of the next front. Then that comes through late in the day. Behind it, temperatures turn much cooler. By the time you wake up on Wednesday morning, temperatures are going to be quite chilly, bouncing back only into the 60s during the day on Wednesday. Wednesday night into Thursday, so it could be temperatures dropping all the way into the upper 30s across a lot of the area with the traditional cold spots out here in the northern part of Star County, northern Hidalgo County, perhaps dropping even close to, let's say, 34, maybe 35 degrees. Rainfall-wise, just a very slight chance tomorrow, but then we're dry behind the front. The clouds are out here. Skies will be blue. It should look really nice. They'll just be deceiving because it looks nice and you step out and it's kind of chilly. Here are the currents across the rest of South Texas. While it's 80 here, 80 in Falfurious. A little cooler in San Antonio, 70 degrees. You get to Dallas even cooler yet, 64 there, 69 in Lubbock at this hour. Most of the clouds are confined to the area between about San Antonio and the valley right now. Those are high clouds, but once we get the fronts through here, again, the cooler, dry weather will push in. That'll dry things out. So the warm front goes back to the north. Just as that happens, another cool front pushes in. So Wednesday, new high pressures building in, and it's a strong high. So it pushes all the clouds out of here for Wednesday and Thursday. By Friday, the high moves east a little bit, so we could start to see a little bit of a return flow, a little bit of a southeast wind coming back in off the Gulf of Mexico. So that could push a few clouds in, but still it looks like a rain-free forecast after that slight chance the next 24 hours or so. Easterly winds, much of tomorrow turning around to the northwest, late, choppy on the bay. UV index is moderate. There's a gale watch. There's not a gale watch tonight. That is for later. So tonight, partly cloudy, 62 for a low, less humid. Northerly winds tonight turning around to the south tomorrow, then back around to the north. Late tomorrow, warm day, but humidity drops. In fact, it's already dropped a little bit. It'll come back tomorrow, then go back and down again with the next front. So windy and much cooler on Wednesday, only 66 for a high. We dropped to 38 for Thursday morning, back to 67 on Thursday. But look at the sunshine, even into Friday, mostly sunny and a high of 74. By the time we get to the weekend, again, it looks pleasant. Highs in the 70s, lows in the 40s, Saturday morning, 60 Sunday morning. Back to 87 by Monday next. That's your updated First Warn 5 Accurate the Forecast.